Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky. So in this video, well, if you didn't notice in my last RuneScape video that I made, I did get Ascension Crossbows. The reason why I did is ever since the crossbows came out, I always just really wanted to try them. They always looked really cool. I've always liked range a lot just as a style in this game. Um, and range has always been kind of crappy compared to melee just because melee historically has always been better. It even is now because dragors are much cheaper than the ascension crossbows and the melee abilities are a bit better. So in most situations, not all but most, the dragors are a little bit better than the ascension crossbows. However, I just wanted to do a test on a boss that was ne neither weak to melee or to range and see how the Ascension Crossbows fared. Um, so anyway, I will show you the results of that. Show you, I will tell you exactly which one did better, which one was a little bit faster, did a little more damage. Um, I will say that the test was very fair um, to both melee and range. I followed some rules and it just worked out that the both boss kills were just about the same in the way that they went and it was not um, more fair to one style than the other. So I also use, this is the gear that I used, I used the exact same armor for both kills. I used War Priest Greaves, um, the top and the gloves, a 6 age circuit ring, I used Glaven Boots for both kills, um, I used Max Cape, Amulet Fury, Slayer Helm. I don't really have any other helms besides Port's Helms in my bank, so that's why I wore the Slayer Helm and the Ascension Bolts, Ascension Crossbows, and then the Dragors for the melee kill. And I overloaded for both kills. I used um, Turmoil and Soul Split for both kills. Obviously Anguish for the range kill. But anyway, um, this is just kind of just to show you guys uh, how good Ascensions are compared to Dragors. And even though a lot of people are going to stand up for Dragors and say, yeah, they're the best thing in the game, um, besides the Seismic One and Orb, obviously, um, you should just totally get Dragors. Ascensions are a waste of time. Um, I really like Ascensions a lot, and I just wanted to show you guys some proof that Ascensions do have their place in the game as well, and they are pretty good. So without further ado, I'll get into showing you guys exactly how the test went. So the boss that I did do the test on was the QBD because it's just the easiest boss to access, the easiest boss to gear up from, and also a pretty fair boss because it's not weak to melee or range. Obviously, Rage does have the benefit where you don't have to run around to the different artifacts as much as you do with melee, but in almost all situations, it's more beneficial to just stand in one area of the room and shoot things than it is to run around. So that is one advantage that Rage just has in general over melee. So yeah, you can say that's a bit unfair because melee, you have to run around a bit more, but that's just part of how melee works. Um, so that's obviously taken into account. So I did do the melee kill first and um, don't laugh, I got a bit wrecked. I did eat quite a bit of sharks. Uh, and also the kill time was not as fast as it can, ha could have been. Um, obviously it is faster to get, it is possible to get faster QBD kills than I did get in this video. And I realized that but I haven't killed QBD in several months and I haven't really killed any bosses in a few months so just be aware that I'm not completely in practice and all that. But anyway, um, yeah, I just went ham on the QBD. I have killed many QBDs in the past, and my setup has kind of always been the same. Um, I decided to tank the fire waves. I normally do the little trick where you run backwards and run forth a step, and therefore you only get hit uh, once by the fire waves instead of twice. But I wanted to make this kill as absolute fast as possible. Um, as fast as I could do, I guess. So that's the reason why I didn't do that. I just wanted to get the kill over with as quickly as I could. So I did get green phased on that kill. Um, so just be aware of that. So that did slow down the kill a bit, but I did get green phased on the range kill as well, so it, it works out. Um, and that kill took three minutes and five seconds. Not the best time in the world, but I think it was pretty decent. Um, so what the only rule I had is I was only going to be using an ultimate ability once and I would use it on the third phase. So my ultimate ability for melee was Berserk because that is the one that gives you the most damage over time. Um, and for range I used the Death Swiftness ability which is works quite similarly to Berserk and it's actually a very 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 good ability ever since it was buffed because it gives you um, an extra 50% damage added to all your attacks and it lasts for 30 seconds so it lasts a bit longer than berserk uh, which only lasts for 20 seconds but anyway i absolutely loved using the range here this was my first range kill ever with qbd um, i imagine if i did it over time it would become you know as boring and frustrating as melee eventually gets if you kill qbd for a lot but um, i must say that range was a lot of fun and i really enjoyed it and uh, it's definitely easier to do at qbd and more enjoyable to do at qbd than melee and it is um, so the range kill was a bit faster. I didn't want to spoil that to the end, but we're 
going pretty close to the end here. So the melee kill again was 3 minutes and 5 seconds, and the range kill was 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, so that doesn't mean that you're going to get those times every single time you kill the QBD. Sometimes melee might even be faster. It just really depends on how the QBD works. If you get green phased, if you get blue phased, if you get hit with a whole bunch of fire trolling or not. But um, in this situation, it worked out that range was 15 seconds faster. So, hey, if you have a set of ascension crossbows or if you're thinking about buying them, I would recommend them. I absolutely loved using them myself, and uh, they were a great purchase.